What's up everybody? Brian here with the Holy Roller and with Color Up. Jeremy's here and you got your Color Up dice. He's going to be a shooter and I'm going to show you how to play two different systems that is the three point molly which is kind of like the standard that you use on your channel almost that's, yeah that's what it is yeah and we're going to do the three point dolly which is the opposite of that and we're going to see how they roll out here we go welcome to the holy roller where it's all about playing craps earning free cruises and a whole lot more thanks for watching and now let's get rolling all right so jeremy's going to be our roller and i don't have a stick but usually they'll pass you five dice you pick two and then what you're gonna need is, I'm gonna I'm a play the system over here. So we're gonna do $10 table. So we're gonna do $10 right there, uh, color up style right there. And that is gonna be the first bet you play in the three point molly. And then we'll explain how this works. All right, pick two dice, pick a pair and throw them in the air. And we'll see what the point is. And right now it's a seven. So that's a winner seven when the puck is off this wins on 7-Eleven. So we just won 10 bucks. Good job. All right, so there we go. And then let's see what happens. So this is the system that you actually want sevens and 11s because you're on the pass line or the come pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much a lot. So let's see what happens here. And it is a five, five, so the point becomes five. So now that puck goes to five. Can you mark that to the five real quick? And so there we go, and we have the five. Now it's on the five. Here, he has to roll a five before a seven to win this bet, okay? Now, we're gonna get our next bet set, which is a come bet. Now, a come bet is the same exact bet as the pass line but it's when the puck is on. So this wins on 7-Eleven, loses on 2-3-12, just like the pass line. All right, here we go, dice are out. And it is an 11. Wow, this guy, he's a natural, he's a natural. And so we win right there. So with that, we just collect right on the standard. So that stays there, wins on 7-Eleven, loses on 2-3-12, let's see what happens. And it is, a five, we hit the point. Point hit, this guy is a pro. Wow, look at him go. <laughs> All right, so this, the puck goes off, but instead of the puck moving, the money moves. So this money will move right there in, in, inside the five, and that has to roll a five to win. But we did win on this one, so we get $10 right there. And we're not playing odds on any of this, but now we're at a come out again. So this wins on 7-Eleven, loses on 2-3-12. That wins on a five, but loses on a seven. All right, let's see what happens. Here we go. And it is a seven. So look, this one lost. It's a come out roll because the puck is off and we win right here. So kind of a break even on that one. And so we're gonna see if we can get another point established and we're gonna just stay right there with that bet right there. All right, so. Here we go, and it's coming out, and it is a seven. Winner, winner, wow. That's, uh, so a seven and 11 when the puck is off is called a natural. So this guy is a natural. This guy is a natural. Let's pick this up, and let's get a point established, and it is a natural seven again. Now, you know, I guess we're playing the standard, Jeremy, but you know, are you going to be rolling when I'm on the don't like this? Uh, I mean, no, I'll switch things up then. And switch things up. <laughs> if you know Jeremy, you know, he's, he's just grabbing and chucking these things. All right, there's an eight. We got the eight marked. And so now we're going to, uh, we have to roll an eight before a seven, but let's get our combat in place. We haven't even got three points set because usually you have one here there's a nine there's a nine so you have one here now this moves to the nine and now that that moves to the nine this wins on a nine loses on a seven this wins on an eight loses on a seven so we would lose twenty dollars but we need to get another come bet so we're gonna have three points three point molly they call this let's see what happens and it is a two a two Two, three, 12, lose right here. So that's a loser. All that natural talk I was talking about before, but now we're actually gonna go back up for one more time. 
just to see if we can get three points set for our three point molly. Ooh, dice off the table. Dice off the table, thank you. We're all set, here we go. And it is a six. So now we have all three points set. So now we have, this one is the bet on the eight. That's a bet on the six, that's bet on the nine. All of those lose if we roll the bad number that you don't like to talk about when the puck is on, but I've said it a couple times, but let's see what happens on this roll. And it is an eight, an eight. So that means we win right here on the pass line. We win right there. Now, these bets are always working. So we need a six or a nine. This would win on 7-Eleven, but we don't really want a seven because we'd lose both of those bets. And we're coming out again. Let's see what happens. And it is a 12, midnight, 2-3-12, lose on the pass line, but those actually stay there. They're still in play, and we're gonna go back up on the pass line. So we lost a little bit. Let's see what happens here. And it is a 10, 10, point becomes 10. And now that the point is 10, we have a bet on the six, nine, and 10. And they all lose with a bad number. Here we go. And it's an 11, but look, we, when the puck is on, the 11 doesn't win right here. And we didn't have one there, so we didn't win there. We still are looking for the six, nine, or 10. Let's see if we can hit one of those right here. And it is the 10, we win again. This guy is a natural, wow. Tell us, what was your strategy on that throw? I mean, what was your dice set? Well, the, <laughs> the dice set was the, I had the four and sometimes the six at the top and sometimes it was on the side and sometimes at the bottom. So I like to mix it up, especially when I'm shooting for specific numbers, you gotta mix it up to get specific numbers. Okay, okay, so whenever I pass you the dice, you just grab them and throw them? Yeah, is basically it? that's what happened. <laughs> okay. All right, let's talk about the dolly, which is the opposite. So let's see how that works. Here we go. Okay, so much like the pass line was the three-point molly, just like we got that, we're gonna do the don't pass. Now the don't pass wins on two, three, it pushes on the 12, but it loses on 7-Eleven. So it's kind of the opposite of this, except for the push, it is a push on the 12. So let's go ahead, when the puck is off is when you have to bet the don't pass. So let's go ahead and roll that. We got the same hot shooter and we're going against him, not really against him. We're going with the dice, right? If you know anything about the don't, you're not betting necessarily against the shooter, you're betting with the dice. So now, the way this works is, when it was on the pass line, you had to roll an eight. This time, you, if you roll an eight, you lose that bet. A seven would win that bet, okay? Now, see this don't come over here is just like the come. And so I'll show you right there, same thing. Wins on two, three, pushes on the 12, loses on 7-Eleven. Let's see what happens. And it is a six. All right, so now that that's a six, it actually moves behind the six. And so that means, so it'd be actually in that box right up there, yep, behind the six. So that means it loses if a six rolls, but it wins if the bad number rolls. And there's five ways to make that one, five ways to make that one, and the number that's right in the middle, there's six ways to make that number. But now we need to get one more set here in the don't come. Here we go, let's see what we roll. And it is a seven, seven out. So this loses on 7-Eleven and it wins on 2-3-12, so we would win that bet and then we also would win this bet with a seven when the puck is on. So. I know that's just a really fast way to show it, but three point molly and three point dolly. All right, well, you know, we didn't do a lot of the dolly, but we did the three point molly and you use that as the standard on your channel. Why did you choose that as the standard? Well, pretty much there's a couple reasons. If you read any book about crabs, they'll tell you about the pass sign to come and then odds. And so my standard, we didn't show odds, but it does include maximum odds. Okay, max odds. So that lowers the house edge bet down as low as possible. So really that's the best way that you can play craps is line bets with odds as far as lowering the house edge. Lowering the house edge. So I mean, you're way better than blackjack or anything like that. I mean, you're at like 0.005% Okay. Outside. So that way you're really great. And so 
because so many professionals and book writers and mathematicians say that is the best way, I make that the standard. Now, we all know it's it's not always the best way. It just depends on how the dice roll. Yeah. But it is something good to kind of gauge, you know, your favorite way to play or strategy is against the standard. So yeah, that's why I call it the standard. Well, you, and you could win big, but you sure. can also lose big. Sure. I mean, just like any strategy. Mm -hmm. But with the, the standard, speaking of max odds, when you're on a Royal Caribbean ship, it's only single odds. Yeah. So that's why I never play odds on a, on a Royal Caribbean ship. So really, it kind of really... Yeah, yeah, unless you're playing three, four, five times odds, you're going to be better off making play bets just because it pays more. Yeah. And, um, you know, with only one and two times odds, your play bet's going to pay more. Now, there is the house edges still technically lower, but you're not really getting paid. I yeah. Mean, a lot well, of that house edge is built into that very first roll. After that, at once the points is point is set, then the odds, you know, the yeah. odds are the odds. Yeah, you have the advantage on the first roll. Mm -hmm. Now, on the dolly, the opposite, you have the disadvantage on the first mm -hmm. roll, but then the advantage on every other roll. What do you think about the dolly, the three-point dolly, they call so it? So, mathematically, the difference is like 0.001%. So, really, mm. it doesn't really matter. It just depends on which way or which, you know, which nice. you're rooting for. Now, I will tell you, it is a little more expensive because you bet more... To oh, win especially back with the odds. Right. You're betting yeah. more to win back less, but that's because you're the favorite. You're betting on the favorite, so you win back less. Yeah. But so if you're playing flat, I, yeah. see, I would, if I played either one of these, or maybe even a hybrid, because the all day strategy is like a hybrid two combats and two don't combats, because it's kind of like in between both of those. But I usually would not play odds because the flat bet is just how I'd play it, on, especially on a ship. Well, I can tell you, so the odds do lower the house edge, but that's on your overall bet. So if you have yeah. $10 flat bet and $30 odds, your overall bet is $40, and that's what the house edge is lower on. Okay. But whether you play maximum odds or no odds, over time, the odds are, or the house edge is exactly the same at 1.4%. And so it pretty much zeroes it's really, out. Right, yeah. it's whatever you can afford. If you can afford odds, that's great because you have a lower house edge on $40. But if you can't afford odds, over time, you're expected to lose the exact same amount, Wow! even with no odds. So just if you can only afford $10 bets, just make $10 bets. Yeah, and, and over time. Don't let anyone talk you into the odds. Well, yeah, because over time, mm -hmm. if it's going to equal out the same, That's and right. the fact that when you play craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise, you're playing for comp value. They, they don't, don't count. They yeah. don't count the odds for comp right. value. So it makes sense just to play it flat yep. on a cruise. Absolutely. Right on? Yep. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching and thanks, Jeremy, for being here. And yeah, go over to Color Up. He needs a few more subscribers. <laughs> and I, I subscribe to my channel too. Yeah, subscribe to Brian. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. All I need is one more. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that, think that, but I just did. Can I get my nine or at least miss the bad number? Here we go. Let's see what happens. And it is a hard 10.